As big brands look for new ways to engage with millennials, they've shifted their advertising strategy towards social media. And the people who best understand how to gain traction on social networks are millennials themselves. So brands are paying very young people shocking amounts of money to market to their peers. And it's working. So this mural here is the answer to the question, what would the Last Supper look like if, if it happened today? Social Chain is the creation of Steve Bartlett, a 24-year-old university dropout. In 2014, Steve started hiring the authors of popular social media channels, often teenagers living at home, and brought them into one company. They own more than 400 popular accounts across a number of social media platforms and use them to influence what young people talk about online. So you're not representing digital influencers. What you do is you find the digital influencers and you bring them in. We are the digital influencers. This morning, they're creating content for their Love Food channel on Instagram, which has almost 7 million followers. So you've just posted the picture yeah. and that's your notification. Social Chain's revenue grew by nearly 600% last year to almost $7 million, and it's projected to double in 2017. Um, increase that the creative rate. team gave us a demo of, of how they can set the conversation. Um, so today we're just trying to think of something that we can um, hit the trending topics on Twitter. There's so much conversation on Twitter right now, it's all Brexit and Trump. Are you going to think of a hashtag now? What, what is it that you're thinking of? Yeah, I think if we went with hashtag American versus British. The hashtag is going to be American versus British. Yeah, game on. And you got half an hour. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> You have a lot of young people working for you, but you also work with a lot of companies sure. run by older people. Mm -hmm. Are you just blagging it? Are you just a, young, a bunch of kids who've got together who are convincing old people that this is how you do things? My honest response to that is I don't think you can get this far by blagging it. While we're talking to Steve, word comes from the creative team that their hashtag has already gained traction. She's celebrating because it's trending. They started trying to make this trend at four o'clock and 11 minutes later, number six in the United Kingdom, trending topic, American versus British. I think we easily win this by not having Trump, who wants to eat a stupid cookie when you can have a glorious biscuit. That's impressive, but are you transparent? Because when I log into Twitter and I see American versus British in my head, it was somebody who sat around, came up with something, and then that caused a trend. Do people know that you're behind exactly it? It's exactly what you just described there. So you said there's a group of people that sit around, they come up with something, they put, that's exactly what you've just seen here. These are the people that before this was a, we came together, were sat in their bedrooms, influencing all those trends. The only thing is now they do it here. So you're a group of influential individuals who've realized that collectively, you are an Illuminati. You said it, <laughs> okay, they're, they're not our words. <laughs>